okay hey you guys welcome back to another vlog today is monday yeah we are back to the weekly grind the monday grind so yeah i'm just pretty much getting ready i'm finishing up my little coffee here i didn't have any breakfast today because i don't know lately i just haven't been wanting food like early in the morning so i will be at the spa all day today but i do have a break in between like a lunch break and stuff so i think i'm actually just gonna go get lunch in between those patients after I get done with my morning patients so so yeah I think um, I won't be that hungry um, so yeah I'm pretty much dressed um, today I just did a little bit of eyeliner and mascara because I'm gonna put my mask on I wanted to put on makeup like today I was like you know what it's Monday I did my hair yesterday so I did like this um, really loose waves I wanted to have it like straightened really nice but then I still wanted to have some volume so I just did this hair with the flat iron so i was like you know what it's monday let me do my hair let me do my makeup but i'm not gonna put makeup on just because you know the mask i just don't want to interfere with that um but yeah at least i put on a little something on my eyes so that i can look a little awake oh yeah don't mind all that back there i was trying on vacation pieces yesterday <laughs> but yeah this is the butter soft stretch brand and this one still fits so i was still able to like squeeze into these right here and they fit these are really soft and comfortable some of the genu ones um the material is like a little hard so they're not like soft um this butter soft brand is like one of my favorites this top is also a butter soft and then my coat is from Metalita. I will have the link down below. I, I said that in the last vlog and I forgot to link it. So I will link it in this one. And I'll give you guys my discount code because you do get 20% off, which is a really good discount because these um, these coats are expensive. I think I am going to try out some of the Metalita scrubs. I, I don't have any of them, but I want to buy some. I need to get some more black pants and... I think what I'm going to do is just get like some t-shirts because summer is starting to roll around. So I think I'm just going to get some t-shirts made, you know, with my logo. That way I could just wear it like underneath my coat. Or I could even get some tank tops and do that so that when I, I could wear my coat. Yeah, I'm probably going to get some tank tops made and just put like my logo on it. That way when I have my coat, you know... I don't have to have a shirt underneath, especially during summer. Um, But yeah, guys, today is going to be busy. So I have a couple new patients in the morning. I know I have an immunity drip. I have some other drips. I have a fat burner shot and a peel in the morning. And then in the afternoon, I have some other fat burner shots. I think I have two peels today. Um, One of the peels that's coming in is a lady. She's already had a drip with me. Did she get a drip? Yeah, she had a drip. Um... I think like two weeks ago she got a beauty drip and she's really interested in like fixing like pigment and stuff so I just recommended like a peel so yeah we're gonna do a peel on her today and then yeah it's just gonna be busy I need some lotion <clears throat> um, and yeah I've been taking my headphones now to work because sometimes I'll just like pop it on and just play like either a podcast or some Hertz music, like while my patients are dripping. So typically like my, what I do is like, you know, I'll leave them in there. Um, I stay in for like the first like 10 minutes that I get it started. And then I'm just coming around like every 10 minutes just to like watch the IV site. But a lot of times I'm just like back in the owner's lounge. I'm doing charting back there. So now I take, oh, I need to grab my iPad. Um, yeah, like, I'll take my iPad with me and just finish up the charting, like, at the lounge. And then, yeah, it's just a lot of lounging around, especially if I'm doing drips because, you know, I just kind of leave them in there. At each patient is typically, like, 45 minutes to an hour, sometimes even an hour and a half. It just depends on their flow and how good it's flowing, um, their vein and everything. But, yeah, the longest. So, yeah, for the most part, it's a lot of just chilling around. I usually get my charting done, like, quick. Um, <clears throat> if it's a new patient, you don't have to like create a chart on, in the EMR for them. But if it's like a return patient, pretty much just chart my vitals, my IV gauge, the site. I take a picture of the paper consent and like scan it into the EMR. Um, so yeah, I've just been taking my headphones so that I have something to listen to while I'm back there lounging. Okay, guys, I think that we are ready. I'm going to take my camera with me so that I can maybe do some vlogging for you guys. Let's read our affirmations. So this one says, I accept myself for what I am. Let me actually go into these. Okay, let me cover that up because it has like my patient name in there. 
um, on my, I put these widgets right here. And you guys still are asking me about the app. So the app is called I Am. Like, that's the name of the app. So yeah, like that is the actual name of the app. And I embrace all positive associations to money, wealth, abundance, and prosperity. And this one says, I am safe. I trust the process of life to bring only good to me. I love that second one. Um, I love the first one too, because when it comes to a lot of, you know, a lot of people when they're like manifesting and attracting abundance and money and wealth, it's like um, sometimes people feel like they're not deserving of those things or, you know, they feel like if they're manifesting money, it's like they're being greedy and stuff. But this is the thing, you have to get into a positive relationship with those kind of things Like you do deserve to have an abundance of money. You do deserve to have an abundance of wealth and prosperity. So it's kind of good to get into that mentality to associate money as um, as a positive thing, not just. Um, and this could go a little deeper. So you, you kind of have to figure out what is your relationship with money and to also know that money isn't everything it's just it's just how you change it's just a relationship with money i could go on into like a whole thing about this but i've definitely been changing throughout like my spirituality journey on how i view money um and that's that's the difference is how you view things and that's how you start to attract and manifest it and i love that second one also i am safe i, I repeat that every single day i don't think i'm gonna finish this whole coffee especially since um i didn't eat breakfast so I don't like to have a whole bunch of coffee when I'm like on an empty stomach. Ugh. Um, Yeah, because then that just kind of like irritates my stomach. And I had taken this banana out, but I don't even think I want a banana right now. Yeah, I'll just wait till lunch. Maybe I'll just, I don't want it, but I know I should have it. Okay super empty this whole weekend girl i was like <laughs> in my feelings okay and last week too like i don't know these past couple days but i've just been super sensitive like overthinking things um you already know you already know so that's why today i said let me do my hair let me do my makeup, put a little something on my face so I can tackle this Monday and get out my feelings because I don't know why we get like that sometimes as girls. Like, I know I'm not the only one. We just get into those phases. You don't even be knowing like what or why you're thinking those things. It's just like, I always just like to go to like my emails in the morning. Mondays are crazy with emails because then it's like all the brands start to send their emails on monday so i do that also while my patients are dripping i'm like catching up on my youtube emails i just put out some packages at the front door that i had to ship out from my brand where's my ipad oh, right here all right let me see what's the battery on this um it's 55 all right i'll charge it when i'm, when I'm over there <coughs> All right, you guys, I will see you at the spa.
Hey guys, so it is now next Monday. I think I left the vlog off last Monday. I was at the spa, I went out to eat, yeah. And then I just left y'all hanging. <laughs> Yeah, last week got pretty busy, so I was just pretty much at the spa every day. Yeah, and kind of just, you guys know when I told you on Monday that I was like feeling weird, like in my feelings kind of thing. And like it just went on throughout like the whole rest of the week. Turns out Aunt Flo is over here visiting. She just popped up this week. So that means that last week I was probably going through PMS and y'all already know. But yeah, that definitely explains like the whole emotional roller coaster that I was on. But it was ugh, like it's uncomfortable. Um, I don't know. I just kind of found myself like revisiting things from the past and like making myself sad over situations that were in the past. And you, know, you guys already know that that is not healthy. It's never healthy. It's actually quite toxic for you to go and revisit the past and like make yourself sad over things that already happened and you already moved on from. But it happens, right? Sometimes like the memories hit us and we're like, why did we have to go through that? Like, what did we do to deserve to go through that? And yeah, and it's not like anything like a breakup or anything. It's like way deeper than a breakup. <laughs> it's like way deeper than that. Like last year was honestly really crazy. But I mean, being in that state of mind kind of like got me. Oh, okay. I just got a notification from Amazon. I've been ordering things for um, the trip and uh, things that are going to be delivered today. As I was saying, um, yeah, being in that state of mind, that's always kind of like what motivates me to write <laughs> yeah as you guys know i am working on my second book i haven't really talked too much about it i've kind of kept it low-key mainly because i don't have a release date yet and i don't want to pressure myself to like put set an actual date and be like all right now i have to sit down and it's like work that i have to do and you know i want it to just be really natural like when i'm in that state of just thinking and the words just flow out like at this point i don't really have a title i have a couple in my mind yeah i don't really have an idea for my cover i kind of have an idea but then i'm like mm. i mean it's just like very vague right now and the writing is just like very vague i don't have like a structure i'm not sure on how i want to structure it my last book i had three chapters but it wasn't really wasn't really like chapter by chapter. Like I feel like this book, I really just want to write. Like I want it to just be poetry. Like whatever page, you know, it could be a happy page. It could be a sad page. Like it's just poetry. And I actually like to read books like that um, just because you kind of don't know what to expect. And sometimes I've read books where I enjoy a certain chapter more than the other one. So when I'm like in a chapter, say I'm like in a chapter and it's all about like hurt and I'm ready to go to like the next chapter and read like other things. So I find like I'm kind of rushing through a certain chapter to get through like the one that I really want to read. So I don't know. I'm kind of just, I don't know. I'm just like going back and forth with my ideas and stuff. Um, but yeah, like I said, being in that in that state of mind kind of got me into that point. Like, all right, I pulled my journal out. You know, I really was just taking time to myself to kind of sit with my emotions, sit with my thoughts. Sometimes you do have to do that and just kind of make the the best out of them, I guess. And, you know, they're there. Those emotions are present for a reason. So I definitely had to acknowledge those kind of work through them and um, we did also go on a little weekend trip um, this past weekend. So we went out of town. We went to the mountains um, and really nice river. So I did my whole like cleansing ritual. Just like, you know, let the thoughts go away. And it's a new week. So it is Monday. I actually just came back from the spa. Um, I have to go back there later um, this afternoon just for like a little quick thing. I've just been doing a lot of reading and stuff. Just a lot of like relaxation activities. Honestly, I don't want my mind to be cluttered when I'm in that state of mind, especially because I know it's all like related to like hormonal fluctuations. So I'm kind of like, all right, I know like a week from now, I'm going to be like, oh my God, why was I even thinking about that? Like, you know, so I kind of like to keep my mind like entertained so that my thoughts don't start to drift so i've been reading but yeah i don't know if i want to make some coffee and get to filming a sit down video i have a couple videos that are on my list yeah definitely before i go on my trip i want to have like there's like two videos that i know i want to put out and then once i'm like on the trip because then it's going to be like vacation vlogs and things like that so i want to have these videos before that and i have a routine video that i want to do and i may actually start to film that part today I feel like I can get like some 
footage some clips of it because i already have like the idea we have like the idea on my mind of like the different footage um you guys know routine videos are always like hard to film because you kind of have to set up the camera and just get different angles of like the footage and stuff so i'll probably do that um yeah that way i'm just staying productive i hope you guys are doing well and you know just how are you guys let me know down below like how are you oh also i want to start recording mukbangs i always say that and then i never do but i feel like i have so many topics that i want to like talk about and i never want to just sit down and talk about a topic like i feel like it's kind of boring even doing girl talks like i don't want to just sit down and i'm just doing a girl talk like I don't know i like watching videos when they're kind of like doing something because then i could do something and it's almost like we're just i'm listening to it but mukbangs have become like really one of my favorite videos to watch it really just feels like you're having lunch with a friend or you're like having dinner with a friend like i've been on the home like the youtube recommended like now since i'm watching like a couple more i've just been finding like new channels that i've been watching and i don't know i think i want to do my girl talks in that way that when we're just like chilling like having lunch like you know when you're out with your friend like you're having girl talk like you go out to eat like that kind of thing so yeah i have a couple topics that i've been wanting to talk to you guys i'm like oh my god we need to have girl talk we need to have girl talk um oh yeah another reason why i've been kind of mia is that my friend um one of my closest friends she has covid and she's been at home you know quarantine and stuff so i've been like facetiming her just to kind of like keep keep her entertained keep her busy because i know what it's like when you're kind of at home nothing to do can't go out your mind starts to drift and yeah, so I've been kind of keeping her company. We've been on FaceTime for like two hours every day. So usually when I come back from the spa, um, I'll start cooking and she'll just be like on FaceTime and we're like doing stuff. <laughs> so yeah, that's just kind of some of the new stuff that's going on. But like I said, I have this routine stuff and the sit down video. I think, let me see, let me take a look at my schedule because I like to do, um, yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, I just wanted to pop in here and kind of close out the vlog, kind of let you guys know why I've been MIA for a whole week. I just kind of like, I don't know, you just need that. You just need time away from the camera. Sometimes it's like overwhelming to have to vlog. Um, yeah, just to have to like take the camera everywhere. And like I said, I'm usually at the spa, I'm usually there. And I don't want my channel to be filled with like day in the life of a med spa owner videos like i said i may do that like a once a month they kind of you know keep you guys updated but i am not gonna be vlogging my whole entire business life like i had even made a decision not to put my spa online and that was like early on and then um but yeah i mean now it's like i see how i'm inspiring other people to have their own thing or to create their own practice or to actually see that this is very achievable and you guys can do it and a lot of people have been very inspired like oh my gosh i definitely want to do that like i like what you're doing it's just kind of seeing like another side of being a nurse practitioner and yes you can definitely own your own thing and have your aesthetics or anything so so i mean yeah mainly i do it for you guys to keep you guys encouraged so you guys can take a look but yeah i'm very private with my business like my business is definitely i just cherish it a lot and i don't need all the extra drama that comes from putting yourself out there so so yeah like i said i don't want my channel to be all like just my life as a business owner like no i want to get back to doing sit down videos back to my lifestyle content and not be all about like my mp life <laughs> even though that's what i mainly have been doing like i've been very busy at the spa march was amazing like um uh, march has been my highest selling month since i opened the spa and it was crazy like it we had an event so i did do like a drip party and that definitely boosted it up because we did yeah we actually did a wedding and we ended up doing 30 drips in like I was only there for like two three hours at the most um so yeah i could leave that up to y'all to do the math but it was definitely and it, it went so smooth like i know it sounds crazy like 30 drips like that's a lot but no we definitely had a system it was all about like okay get vitals get intakes on these people review like you know their health history like just going through the clipboard doing like an intake on them and then boom like starting ivs mix the bags like everything was like so so smooth that people were super like they just loved it it was like the morning before the wedding so you know they were like partying the night before so they felt amazing after the drip like super energized like it was great i always love to see that reaction from people so 
yeah i mean march was march was great you guys um so yeah april is now here and it's time to go hard again but yeah that's kind of what i've been up to you guys but enough rambling i just wanted to pop in here so that i could close out the vlog i will be back with um some sit down videos and stuff yeah i may not be vlogging like this week or the next week just because i'm kind of like in the preparation of going on vacation i may vlog that like getting ready for my trip you know nails what i'm packing like i'll do that for you guys but other than that i do have to get down and do these sit down videos and just kind of have content ready for when i'm away so that way you guys are not left hanging while i'm gone and you guys have some content to watch all right you guys well thank you thanks for coming to my ted talk like literally i'm here on my couch <laughs> having a whole little chat but yeah let me know how you guys are doing how you're feeling how's your mind how are we how are we collectively and i will talk to you guys in the next video bye